Well, no discussion of trying to attempt to find fraud in the financials via textual analytics or any other method would be complete without a discussion of the fraud triangle. As we all know, the fraud triangle relates to incentives or pressures to commit a fraud, an opportunity to commit a fraud, and an attitude or rationalization where you want to commit a fraud. These items would be under an incentive or pressure where somebody needs to make a revenue forecast, they want to get a promotion and meet their various objectives, or in order to get their annual year-end bonus. Opportunities to commit a fraud usually involve inadequate monitoring or design of internal controls, such as poor segregation of duties controls, where the control framework allows somebody to commit two different acts and therefore they're open to making the fraud. The attitudes of rationalizations are someone who has a uh, regular disregard for regulation or other authority. Uh, people are not working. So maybe a spouse got laid off and somebody has to help make ends meet because the bills at home are piling up and no one will notice if I skim just a little bit. It could be people are working too hard. There's a bad economy out there. There's no annual bonus or promotions and besides you deserve it because you've been so stressed and time bankrupt but you're making the work get done. I've given examples in all three areas for opportunity, pressure, and rationalization and I've highlighted in red the three most interesting words and statements that came out of the survey. The key words related to the fraud triangle can be categorized into these three categories. The grouping of words and relate to whether the item is related to any one of those three. When reviewing textual analytics and using the keyword list as a starting point for red flag words, these words can be matched to other standard review items such as rounded numbers entered into the general ledger, Benford's law analysis, or GL accounts which are unrelated. The combination can immediately point to high-risk transactions which warrant further examination.